In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to put a label on a round object in SketchUp. So I've got a beer bottle here, so we've got an image there. If we try and do it the standard way, I've got a little cylinder there, which I'll tell you more about in a few minutes, and I go File, Import, and let's find a picture, um, say a brick wall, okay, and I try and add it as texture. It just goes on a strip like that, which is not very good. So we've got to do a bit more work and go around it. So first off, I've got to know about the shape I'm trying to define. Now I've made this really easy for myself by making a uh, cylinder, which is one meter radius, a two meter diameter, and five meters high. So it's quite a big pillar. Then I went on to Photoshop and I created a um, canvas which is 6.28 centimeters wide, which is the circumference of a circle if it has one meter radius. You can do the maths and work it out. And height of five. So in short, this is the perfect wrap around. So think about, if you had a beer bottle, we'd have to work out the circumference of that and make an image of that height exactly that way around. So I want the poster to be on a background of brick. You can make it into whatever you like. You could sample the color from SketchUp, put it into Photoshop, and you can imagine the rest. So I did that and I've saved it to the desktop. So what I've got to do now is um, camera, oops, camera, standard views, front. So let's just draw a rectangle here. So 6.28 width by five meters height. So there we are. And select the front of here, file, uh, import. I'm doing this as a texture. And if we go to the desktop, we'll see that's where I saved it. So import. Now just locate the bottom left endpoint, stretch it out to the top right. And you'll see that that does fit exactly onto that page as a texture. Then right click this and say texture and it's projected. Okay. So now I open up my paint bucket tool, it's got here, just bring it open, and look at colors in model. And we'll see that these are all things currently up there, and that is the texture which we had earlier. Take this and drop it onto there. And you see, if I just close this room down, I can get rid of this on the side. We've now got the perfect item. So it looks like I'd added a brick texture to my um, surface and then added the poster on the side. But in fact, that's one image. So you've got to be careful with the scale because obviously those bricks look really big. We would have to go into Photoshop and maybe make the bricks look smaller. Um, you might also have a problem with if the image you're using there as the brick is different to um, a different texture you're using, then a problem. So I'd suggest if you're doing this, then create a texture of just that background and apply it to everything around and then make a special case with your picture placed in. Now if you think of doing something a bit more complex, um, such as a multiple curve, you're going to have to work out um, what is the surface length of that multiple curve. Now you can imagine other more complex things you can do with this, but that is, in short, how to apply an image to a round object.